taken. Well, we survived yesterday in the rain and made it to Clues. We found this hotel here, which was uh, just the right price. It's very tiny though. We tried to get things dried out as best we could. Now we're up and the weather's supposed to be better today. Starting about noon, it's still pretty cloud covered and threatening outside. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain. But our biggest fallout from yesterday is the cell phone died. We're kind of bummed because now we don't have all the information that I planned on the trip other than what's in my head. We're hoping for a miracle. But right now we're gonna take off with no cell phone. We know where the first climb starts and we know how to get over to, over to Le Grand Bornand. You ready, Lise? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, this is insane. Well, we stopped and got some euros because in Europe they believe in the power of paper. There's that beautiful bridge, Lisa. I love it. Crazy. Yep, we are crazy. Cold to Rome was the plan. Sticking with the plan, right? Right. This chart comes from my friends at climbfinder.com. It shows the average grade for every half kilometer of the Col de Rome. The darker the color, the steeper the climb. You can see that this climb includes plenty of 10s, 11s, and 12s. The official route of the Grand Alps goes straight up the Col de la Colombier, but an optional route includes the Col de Rome, which joins the Colombier halfway up after reaching Le Repassois. This is the route followed by the 2021 Tour de France and is definitely harder than the official route. But we had climbed the Colombier before and looked forward to the new challenge this alternate route would bring. Could skip the Col de Rome, but we probably will wish we had. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my. Another day for you and me in paradise. Nine kilometers, 11% here. Good morning. All right, let's just go easy, easy. As easy as we can. Tornante eins. Kera eins. Going up, pretty cool. There we are, there's the national. There's the national? Yep, she yeah. told that we would wave. There we go, I waved. We can hear the church bells. It's tropical. It really is. These beautiful little pine trees growing in the cracks. There we go, Lisa. Going to the chapel. Gonna get married. Sound fun? Let's do. Hello, little, little church. What, what's our grade here, Lisa? Nine. Nine, it feels steeper than nine. I've got 10. Up there, clear up there. All right, here we go, Lisa. <laughs> we were just at that corner with those houses right there. <laughs> we just turned the corner. There you go. Now we're clear up here, almost to Rome. All roads lead to Rome, including the Col de Rome. This year's Tour de France, Taddy Pogaccia was several minutes behind and took off and left the field. Killed him up this hill. Climbed Col de Colombier and landed in Le Grand Bonand with the yellow jersey and never gave it up. So I guess you could say it was the deciding hill in this year's Tour de France. Here we go. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Merci. jackets. Going down the other side now to Les Repassois. That's where we're going out there, Lisa. Yep. Okay, let's 
see something. Let's go up to this church. Out. Uh. All right, Lisa, what'd you think of the Col de Rome? Wow. <laughs> Tough, but it was beautiful. It was really yeah, beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. Next, we'll go to the Col du Colombier, but we're going to see this church first. We joined the Col de la Colombier with 7K left to go. This is the steeper of the two halves and the more scenic. For the most part, this climb ascends directly up the side of the mountain with very few switchbacks. As a result, you can see the top from quite a ways off. The descent into Le Grand Bornand has long sweeping turns and is visually stunning. Love it. <laughs> Ada Ada Philippe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Love that. <laughs> Love it. That's 3K left. <laughs> yep, this is very memorable. Straight shot up the hill here. What have you got here? Yeah, this is a solid 10. You ready, Lise? Yeah. Ah. There we go. Ah. 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 Beautiful up here, isn't it, Lisa? Oh, yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. Cows with bells, Lisa. if they have a map. I bet they do. We are now on the Col des Aravis and it's about a 1600 foot climb and 11 kilometers. So a nice break from all the 10% we've had today and yesterday down to three to fives. We'll take them. Two percent. <laughs> all right. We have climbed over 5,000 feet now today. I can see two gondolas, quad chairlift, 
We think we have ski resorts in Utah. Yeah, we've got a handful. The Alps are littered with them. It's amazing. Everywhere is a lift. No problem. No problem. Over 6,000 feet now. 1,879 meters total ascent today. Whew. Yes, smile for the camera. It's a video, so it's running. Just, just point. Now we will descend towards Flume before the Col de Sazies, which we will climb tomorrow. And not today. Cycling playground. As we started after this pause, our front disc brakes failed. The pad spreader had crumpled, and we were forced to descend the rest of the way with just our rear brakes and hope for somewhere to have a replacement. Like that's a full brake. So it makes us go slow, but it doesn't stop us. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love this street. This is a great street. Looking for a hotel with no phone. It's a bummer. Okay, I'm going right over here. Yep, yeah, but we're just gonna get off. So get ready to bail. Right? Yeah. Then we had to find a hotel without our phone. So we stopped at one place, got no response, and then we stopped at this place and the guy told me it was full. And so I went out to tell Lisa that it was full and we had some people admiring our bike. And then a lady came out of a store and we kind of engaged all of them in helping us find a place to stay tonight. So the lady came right back to this guy at this hotel and who had told me that they were full and that all of Flume was full and that we need to ride 10 kilometers out of our way to Mejeve in order to find a place. She came back and asked him if we could have a room and she was able to speak to him in French even though she didn't speak English. And, uh, and she helped us ne ne negotiate a room, which we then, the guy gave us a room, $103, includes dinner, and it includes breakfast. And I, I think it's gonna be delicious. And I'm blown away, it's 103 euros. So um, we're being very blessed, even though we're having some things go wrong, we're being very blessed, right, Lisa? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Merci. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't. It's long. Donc, euh, <laughs> le long, faire le tour, et en dessous, garage. <laughs> That was really delicious. Sounds amazing. Yeah. Oh, I've got this setting back here that's just to die for. So, wow. This reminds me of uh, Heiligen and Blut. It was such a good it dinner. Totally does. It really does. We had this delicious lasagna. And then they brought, what was that pastry they brought out? It was a tart. But it had apples and plums and raisins and macadamia. No, not macadamia. Um, it's pistachio nuts. Pistachio nuts. And the crust was yeah. butter. Butter, yeah. delicious. Seriously. Yeah. This has been such a great place to just a be allowed to stay. The guy's done a whole 180 from telling me no and kind of chasing me out the door. And, and then he opened up the doors and here we are. So that was awesome. Very blessed. What a gift. <laughs> So after three major summits with almost 7,000 feet of climbing, we needed a good night's sleep and some help the next morning with a front brake problem. Because the Col de Cézis, the Col de Pré, and the Cormet de Rosalande are what's on the menu for tomorrow.